Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find conditional probabilities for the given Bayesian belief network and how to use conditional probabilities to calculate the probability for the given condition. In this case, we have been given uh, four uh, nodes. The first one is mileage, second one is engine, third one is car value and fourth one is air conditioner. These are the values for each of these particular nodes. Given these nodes, uh, first we need to calculate uh, the conditional probabilities for each of these nodes and then we need to calculate the probability for the given condition. While calculating the probability for mileage and air conditioner, we don't need to consider engine and car value because uh, the mileage and air conditioner are independent uh, nodes here. But when it comes to engine, the engine depends on the mileage, whether mileage is high or low. So based on the value of this particular mileage, we need to get the probability for engine. So the probability of engine depends on mileage here. Similarly, the probability of car value depends on both of these uh, nodes that is engine as well as air conditioner over here. First, uh, we will start with the conditional probability for mileage here. Probability of mileage is equal to high. We need to consider only these particular high examples. So if you consider only high examples, we need to add all these particular uh, records. So if I add all these particular records, I will get 20. And the total number of records in this case is 40. So 20 by 40 is equal to 0.5 over here. So other side is the uh, probability of uh, mileage is equal to low. That is the other side, which is equal to 1 minus 0.5. Again, it is equal to 0.5. Now we will consider the other uh, node that is air conditioner. Probability of air conditioner is equal to working which is equivalent to, we need to consider only working examples. That is, uh, this is the first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. So if I add these things, 3 plus 1, 4, plus 9, 13, 14, 14 plus 4 is 18, 18 plus 5, 23, 24, 25. So totally 25 examples are there. Out of 40, we will get 0.625 here. So probability of air conditioner is equivalent to broken 1 minus 0.625 over here. Now the next one is uh, engine. So the probability of engine depends on what? Mileage here. So that's the reason we need to calculate something like this. Probability of engine is equal to good or bad given mileage is equal to high and low here. So first we will start with probability of engine is equal to good given mileage is equal to high. So first we need to consider only these examples that is high examples. Mileage is equal to high. So if I add all these party things I will get 20 examples here. Now out of 20 records you can say engine is equal to good. How many are there? Engine is good here. Engine is good here. 3 plus 1, 4 plus 6 that is 10. 10 out of 20 here. So probability of engine is equal to good given mileage is equal to high 0.5. Probability of engine is equal to good given mileage is equal to low that is 1 minus 0.5 here. The next one is uh, probability of engine is equal to good given mileage is equal to low. That is, uh, we need to consider only these examples. Again, we have 20 examples over here. So out of 20, we need to consider what? Engine is equal to good. So again, these are the two things. 9 plus 5 is equal to 14 plus 1, 15, 15 out of 20 here. Again, uh, we will go with the next one that is car value here. So car value, what are the possibilities? The car value can be either high or low. So car value is equal to high, given what? It depends on engine and air conditioner. So engine has two possibilities, air conditioner has two possibilities. So totally four conditions comes into picture here. That is engine is good, air conditioner is working. Engine is good, air conditioner is broken. Engine is bad, air conditioner is working. Engine is bad, air conditioner is broken here. So I have written one condition here. So we need to consider only these examples. That is engine is good, air conditioner is working. These are the two things over here. And if I add it, 3 plus 4, 7, plus 9, uh, 16, plus 0, that is 16 here. So out of these particular 16 examples, how many number of examples are there where value is equal to high? 3 plus 9, that is 12, so 12 out of 16 in this case. Next one is what? Engine is good, but air conditioner is broken here. Engine is good, air conditioner is broken. This is the first one. This is the second one. 1 plus 2, 3 plus uh, 5, 8, plus 1, 9 here. Out of 9, how many number of examples where value is equal to high? How many are there? 5 plus 1, that is 6 over here, 6 out of 9 in this particular case. With the same note, we can calculate the probability of value is equal to high given 
engine is bad air conditioner is working and engine is bad air conditioner is broken over here now these are the probabilities for our value is equal to high so if you want the value is equal to low uh, for this one for example probability of value is equal to low given engine is equal to bad air conditioner is equal to working that will be 1 minus 0.222 over here so that is how we can easily calculate the other side over here now once you calculate all these particular conditional probabilities we can calculate the probability for the given condition so what is given to us here we need to calculate the probability of engine is equal to bad that is engine is equal to bad and air conditioner is equal to broken so we know the values of these two things but we don't know the value of mileage as well as we don't know the value of this particular car so that's the reason what we do here is we will put something called as alpha and beta for this particular mileage as well as car value and uh, we will solve this particular equation for all possible values of alpha and beta in this particular case now if you want to calculate this particular uh, probability we will start with car value probability of uh, car value is equal to beta because we don't know the value of this particular car value so that's the reason i have written beta uh, air conditioner and engine over here engine is given to us that is bad air conditioner is equal to broken here that is known to us now if you want to calculate this uh, probability of engine what is required to us we need to know the mileage but mileage is what we don't know that particular thing so probability of engine is equal to bad mileage is equal to alpha here and if you want to calculate probability of mileage yes we can calculate it directly over here and the last part of this equation is this one that is probability of air conditioner is equal to broken here now we need to put all possible values for alpha and beta so first i will put the value of beta beta can take two values that is high and low so first i will put the value of high here now once i put the value of beta is equal to high alpha can take two possibilities either it will be high or low over here uh, so first i will take high for this particular thing that is uh, mileage is equal to high plus mileage is equal to low over here now this is for what the car value is equal to high now other side is what that is plus car value is equal to low again when car value is equal to low mileage can be high and low so that is what i have written it here now we have already calculated all these particular probabilities in the previous slides we need to put those particular values you will get the final answer as 0.1453 over here this is the final probability for this particular given condition in this video i have discussed how to calculate conditional probabilities for each of these particular nodes in the bezin belief network and how to use this particular conditional probabilities to get the probability for the given condition this is the solved example number 4 the link for other example is given in the description below i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching